Hey guys, it's John of Figurative Arc. This is the fifth and final in a series that's looking at the VSDC free video editor. So we've looked at the features of this free editor in previous episodes. Now we're going to actually look at converting it into one of many different popular formats. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Export Project. Now I have to make a couple decisions. What kind of format do I want to convert it to? Hmm. Do I think AVI is pretty snappy or am I more partial to MOV? Or is WMV kind of the king of the hill in my world? So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. That's my own preference. Now I'm going to go down here to profile. I have to pick what kind of encoding do I want to use? Personally, I think the AVC is my favorite, I think, for quality, so I would recommend that. Then I'm going to go into highest quality right here. Now what I have to do is make a couple choices down here as far as how I want the video to look once it is converted. So before I get to that, though, if you want all the scenes to be joined into a single video, you click on that. Now, this is showing me basically what I recorded it in, which was in full HD. But let's say that my file size is so big after converting it that I want to actually make this a little smaller. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into here. And I'm going to change the original resolution to a custom resolution. And I'm going to put in, uh, I think, a standard high definition custom re resolution. A lot of times, even though I shoot in full HD, I, a lot of times I will do this to standard HD just because of the file size involved. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into configure. And I'm going to, it's set at that level, I think I'm just going to leave that there. But I'm going to go into target bitrate. Now the bit rate has to do with the quality, the visual quality and file size of your video when it converts. So the larger the bit rate, the better quality it's going to be, but the file size is going to be a lot larger too. Now for a standard HD video, I'm going to I'm going to put probably something like maybe like 10,000 but you can make it higher if you want to. Then I'm going to go to rate control. I'm not even going to get into a discussion about all of this for our purposes. I'm just going to leave that defaulted. If you want to learn more about that stuff, then be my guest, but that's a little beyond what we're going to do in this video. I do want to make sure that adaptive is checked, and it is. Now one thing I am going to click on that's not defaulted on here is right there, the KBEC. And you may say, oh, well what is that? And what does that stand for? Well, if you're wondering, it stands for Context Adaptive Binary Arithmetic Coding. And it's a fancy term that just has to do with it compresses your video file size without losing quality. So I like that. Big fan of those kind of things. So I'm going to click on it. Okay. Now I'm going to go into here. It's got different uh, audio codecs. I like the AAC. That's my recommendation to you. I'm going to bump it up to as high as I can make it. And here's the frequency of how it was recorded. I'm just going to click on original and then whatever originally was recorded, that will work. Okay, then I'm going to apply profile. Now I've noticed this didn't change. Sometimes I go in there and it does not change and now I have to go in again. Why it does that, I do not know because you saw me change it. But it's just one of those idiosyncrasies. I'm going to apply profile and it changed at that time. Frame rate, I left the same. That's what I recorded it in. Up here, 
is where the converted file is going to go. So if you want to change that, you can just say change name. Okay, I think we're all set. We're going to go to convert. Uh, that was what I was working on previously. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And it's going to start converting that file. A little preview will pop up here. You will notice that this preview will run very slowly when the video starts popping up. Text, not so much, but when it has to start processing video, it will start going slow. It may look jumpy, but just know that this preview is not a final version preview. It's just previewing it as it's encoding it. So it, as you can see in this box, it's going like super slow motion. It will not appear that way in the final uh, result. Here it's kind of showing you how fast this is processing. It's slower than molasses. So some of these do take some time. So you're just going to have to be patient, you know, start a cup of coffee or something. So anyway, that is how to convert. I do put some of my recommended settings in terms of things like bit rate and the different codecs in the description below. So you don't have to keep going back to the video to see what my recommendations are for the various uh, sizes for that in what we did. Please check out my channel, subscribe, and I really want to give you some tools that you can get your feet wet and help you kind of be able to fulfill your artistic vision. So again, thanks for watching and hope to see you again next time.